Hello, welcome back. In today's video, let us solve half yearly practice question paper of second standard. First main, fill in the blanks. First question, 3 tenths plus 4 ones is equal to 34. Next question, compare using greater, lesser or equals 6 plus 3 and 9 plus 0 we have to compare. So 6 plus 3 is also 9. Also 9 plus 0 is also 9. So it is equals. Next the shape. The dash shape has 3 sides and 3 corners. So which shape will have 3 sides and 3 corners? Yes. Triangle. T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. Next question. 6 minus 8 is equal to. So we have to take away 8 numbers from 26. What is 26 minus 8? 18. Next, July month will have dash days. How many days will be there in the month of July? Yes, 31. The place value of 6 in 4649 is, what is the place value of 6 here? 100. H-U-N-D-R-E-D. 6 into 3 is equal to, 6 3 times is 18. Next, Sunday comes after, yes, Saturday. S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. Next, there are dash days in a leap year. How many days will be there in a leap year? Every four year, once it will come. Yes, that is 29 days in the month of February. So, there will be 366 days in a Leap year. Next main, do as directed. First question. First main, write the number names for. What is this number? 35. So, how will we write 35? T, H, I, R, T, Y. 35. F, I, V, E. 35. Next is 42. What is the spelling of 40? F-O-R-T-Y. You should not write F-O-U-R-T-Y. It's F-O-R-T-Y. 42. T-W-O-2. So, 42. Next, write in expanded form. We have to expand and write the given numbers. 337 is the number. So, the value of 3 here is 100. The value of 3 here is 10 and 7 once. So, 300 plus 3 tens means 30 plus 7 ones is equal to 7. Next, 208. So, 200, 0, tens and 8 ones. 200, we will expand as 200 plus 0 tens plus 8 ones is nothing but 8 itself. Third question, arrange in ascending order. Ascending order means smallest to greatest. Which is the smallest number among the given numbers? Yes, 124. Next greater number is 321. When you compare between 442 and 342, which is Smaller, 342. So, next is 342. Last and the greatest number among the given numbers is 442. Next question. Complete the pattern. Here, we need to complete the given pattern. Here is right arrow, down arrow, left arrow and up arrow. What should be the next? Yes, again, right arrow. Next, the down arrow. Here, second one, A, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, E. What pattern can you observe here? First letter has started with A. Yes, but here in second, they started with B and continued with C, D. Here, started with A, continued with B, C. Next, started with B and continued with C, D. Similarly, started with C and continued with DE. What should be the next pattern? 
Yes, it has to start with D and continue with the sequence that is E and F. Yes, here we started with D. Next should be started with E and continue with F, G. Next question. Write the number of sides and corners. How many sides will be there in triangle? Three sides. And how many corners? Three corners. In square, four sides and four corners. Next question. Solve 336 plus 27 we have to add. So first we will write the numbers one below the other according to their place values. Three digits so three place values. Tens, hundreds, 336, 336, two tens and seven ones. Don't forget to write the plus sign. Six plus six will be, six plus seven will be 13. So three here and one should be regroup. Yes, you can't write two numbers in one place value. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 and nothing is 3 itself. So when you add 336 plus 27, you will get the sum of 363. Next question. Multiply. 432 into 6 we will have to find out. So here 2 6 times or 6 2 times will be 12. So 2 here 1 carry. 6 3 times is 18, 18 plus 1, 19, 9 here, 1 carry. 6 4 times is 24, 24 plus 1 is 25. Product of 432 into 6 will be 2592. Here also we will have to multiply but here we have to multiply with 2 digit number. So first we will multiply with 1 digit and then the 10th digit. First 6 2 times is 12, 2 here, 1 carry. 6, 6 times will be 36. 36 plus 1, 37. 7 here, 3 carry. 6, 3 times will be 18. 18 plus 3 will be 21. Similarly, 1, 2 times is 2. 1, 6 times is 6. 1, 3 times is 3. You should leave the 1's place in empty as you are multiplying with 10's value. 1, tens, right? So, we can write here plus sign 0 or even multiplication sign. Now, we have to add both the numbers. 2 plus nothing is 2 itself. 7 plus 2 is 9. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. So, the product of 362 into 16 is 5792. Next question. Subtract 592 from 850. From 850, we have to take away 592. Remember, from smaller number, we cannot take away the greater number. From greater number only, we can take away the smaller number. So, we will write their place values as three digits are there. Ones, tens, hundreds. We will write 850 first as it is the greater number. Next is 500. 92. Here from 0 we cannot take away 2. So we will have to borrow from 10's value that is 5. So 5 becomes 4 here and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 2 will be 8. Again from 9 we cannot take from 4 we cannot take away 9. So we borrow from 8. So 8 becomes 7 and 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 9 will be yes 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. So, the difference of 850 minus 592 is 258. Next question. Divide 36 divided by 6. 6 what times is 36? 6, 6 times is 36. So, the quotient is 6. But here, we cannot find out directly. We will have to do the long division. So, 8. 8 is the divisor which we have to write outside the division bar and 436 is the dividend which we have to write inside the division bar. Now, 8 1 time 8 is not possible because 4 is lesser than 8. So, we will have to consider 2 digits here. So, 8 what times 8? 
5 times is 40. 40 is lesser than 43. If we consider 8, 6 times, it will be 48, which will be more than 43. So, we have to stop for 8 paisa. Now, 3 minus 0 is 3 itself and 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, we have 6 left over, which will bring it now. We are left with 36. So, 6, 8, 4 times is 32, right? 6 minus 2 is 4, 3 minus 3 is 0. Here, the quotient is 54 and the remainder is 4. Next question, solve story sums. There are 13 bags of marbles. 13 bags of marbles and each bag contains 9 marbles. There will be 9 9 marbles in each bag. So, how many marbles are there all together? So, we have to imagine that there are 13 bags. In each bag means in one bag there will be 9 9 marbles. So, wh how, what do we do? need to do now? How can we find the answer? We have to go on adding, correct? 9 plus 9. So, in two bags, it will be 18. Instead of adding again and again, what we can do? Yes, we can multiply. Multiply 13 into 9. So, here, number of bags equals 13. Number of marbles in each bag equals 9. So, total number of marbles equals, we will have to find out. How can we find out? By multiplying 13 into 9, right? So, what is the answer of this? 9, 3 times is 27, 7 here, 2 carried, 9, 1 times is 9, 9 plus 2, 11. So, how many marbles are there all together? 117. So, students, I hope the video was useful. Please do subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.